Good morning. I'm Tina Tehranchian, and I'm excited to be joined today by Tasha Batstone, the new president and CEO of FB Canada. Tasha, thanks so much for joining me today. You have had a long career as a finance professional working with CPA Canada. Tell me, why did you decide to join FP Canada? In my previous role with CPA Canada, I always had the opportunity to work with FP Canada on a number of different initiatives. And I've had a real admiration for the financial planning profession and the work being done at FP Canada. You know, it's very interesting. Financial planning has matured over the year and FP Canada has really played an important role in shaping this advancement. Looking ahead, I know there's much that we can do to build a diverse and inclusive industry that really improves financial well-being of every Canadian. Imagine 2030 in particular really resonated with me. It's a clear vision for the financial planning profession and for FP Canada. And I'm really excited to lead a purpose-led organization that is focusing on championing better financial wellness for all Canadians. What do you want professional financial planners to understand about your style as a leader? Thanks, Tina. That's a great question. Um, I'm a really strong believer in teamwork, and much of my success is due to working on high-performing teams. And I'm fortunate that this describes FP Canada, and much credit goes to the executive team and Carrie Lynn, Canada's retiring president and CEO, for driving this culture. And I definitely plan to continue that approach at FP Canada. And I would also say that I'm someone who likes to listen to multiple perspectives and understand what's driving a particular decision or strategy. I'm very comfortable working in a multi-stakeholder environment, and I'm a strong believer that diverse opinions and thinking contribute to positive outcomes. So I'm really looking forward to continuing that style of leadership at FP Canada. What's on your agenda for the next few months? I want FB Canada certificates to know that I will be focused on the critical issues the profession faces today and those we will have to collectively work on in the future. It's important for our organization to lead innovation around practice while at the same time maintaining the highest standards for financial planning. And there are some examples. Title protection. We are in important discussions with the province of Ontario and we want to ensure regulations around the use of titles put consumer clarity at the forefront and financial planning professionals meet appropriately high standards. Technology will continue to play a role in the evolution of practice of financial planning. And it will be important for our work to continue to understand and optimize the role technology can play in supporting practice. We have to look at appreciating diversity and connecting people to the value of financial planning and continue to enhance access for all Canadians. We want to raise the profile of financial planning as a true professional vocation for students entering colleges and universities. And finally, obviously equipped financial planners with the professional skills required to deliver value to all Canadians. Any final thoughts? I think working together, we can build a future where every Canadian, no matter their needs, or their circumstances has access to a trusted financial planner and has the confidence and knowledge that Canadians need to make informed and appropriate financial decisions. Over the next few months, I'm looking forward to connecting with many of our certificates to better understand their perspective. I want to hear directly from them as to how we can work together to make this profession stronger and better able to serve the financial planning needs of all Canadians. Thanks for asking.